So I'm starting to have a bit of an issue here with my plants, as you can see. They're outgrowing their space here and touching the lights, growing above the lights. So I think I'm going to have to do some rejigging here with my, my setup to get us through this. I started my cucumbers down here and they are growing up the sides and across the top here. So I'm going to try and leave them here so they don't get disturbed, but I'm going to have to find a new setup here for my tomatoes and peppers. So I've taken all these plants off the top shelf here and I think what I'm going to try and do is put them underneath this table and hook my lights up underneath this table and then they'll have a lot more room to grow and hopefully that'll get us through here temporarily. I'm kind of hoping that I'm going to be getting some new lights for Christmas um, and also looking at investing in a grow tent. So in the meantime, we are going to try to set something up here that will work. Okay, so I got this new setup going here. So what I've done is I've taken a couple of my lights from the bottom uh, shelf and rigged them up here with some string. Got them strung across and hanging as high as I can get them. So these plants have some room to keep growing. I've put a few blocks underneath to bring them up closer, but you can see now they have a lot more growing space and hopefully we'll be a lot happier down there. Okay, so I think the rearranging of my little growing area is complete now. Everything's been moved around and these peppers and tomatoes now have a nice um, growing space under the lights, some room to grow. I've relocated the bean plant over here got lots of little beans coming you can see and hopefully this these two pea plants will be get enough light off of um, these two LEDs and this light up here to keep growing and I've relocated all my leafy greens to this shelf so I have my my tug of, tub of lettuce my chives some more lettuce my healthy little celery plant got some microgreens going and these are my two little uh sad cases here my strawberry and this one bell pepper that doesn't seem to want to grow probably uh, need a little more attention and up here um you've seen me do a lot of videos on my arrow garden tomatoes i've relocated them to the top here uh they've grown out of this arrow garden but I'm I've managed to get a couple three tomatoes off of it so far probably um, I wouldn't grow a determinant tomato in this type of setup again they just get too big probably next time I will try a dwarf uh, type tomato I think but I did add these two swingy lights to the back here so I can swing them around and some of these branches can get some extra light the cucumbers will stay in the middle shelf here. Um, they are starting to bloom. Got some blooms here, so I need to do some pollinating. I'll probably make a quick vi quick video on how I do that. Hopefully that will get them uh, going and we'll see some cucumbers. In the back here of my uh, setup, I have two uh, timer bars. So everything is set on timers to come on for about uh, 16 hours a day. So I don't have to worry about turning lights on and off each day. And I also have my fan set up, uh, plugged into a timer as well, so that it turns on and off periodically throughout the day. So I don't know if you see what I see here, but I see uh, more room for, for plants now. I got some space up here. I got a whole bottom shelf here now. If I get a couple more lights, I 
got a big bright window. So I think it's time to uh, go to the seed box and see what else we can plant up here in the growing room. I got a couple more months before um, before I start my seedlings for my outdoor garden. So I think we'll grow some more. So thanks for joining me here. I hope you enjoyed my little gar grow room makeover. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you are notified every time a new uh, video is up on the channel. Thank you for watching.